guys, this is Shelly here. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. On today's video, I'm going to share with you a How I Colour video on autumn leaves, but specifically sharing colour combinations with you guys. Now, this may be like a deja vu for you because I have done a video on how I colour autumn leaves. I'll make sure I put it in the description box below. And that was a bit more specific in terms of how I colour them and I shared a few colour combinations. However, Every time we come to autumn season, I love colouring autumn pages, but I'm always sitting down and trying to figure out some different colour combinations because we have so many beautiful pages with tons of leaves in them. And just to make those particular pages um, a little bit easier to tackle and more interesting with lots of different coloured leaves, um, I decided that I'll finally list out some color combinations for myself so that every time I come to autumn I'm not trying to figure out my color combinations again um, at least I'll have it all um, recorded for myself so it'll be easy and I thought I'd share it with you guys as well so there's more color combinations than I've shared in my last autumn series video which was two years ago um, so since then yes I've been coloring uh, for two years so I've come up with a few more com combinations and um, yeah so I thought I'd share it with you guys now this is not a how I color leaves video I have got a video on that too so I'll remember to put it in this description box below and that will uh, basically give you a, an idea of how I tackle my leaves where I put my shadows and highlights although it's not on and off autumn leaf, uh, leaf I use exactly the same techniques to color pretty much all my leaves so I'll remember to put hopefully remember to put those um, two videos in the description box below you may want to see watch those as well but this particular video is going to be literally just color combinations that I wanted to share with you guys. And I have had quite a few requests from, um, from people requesting that I share some color combinations for my Albert Dura pencils. Not specific for autumn leaves, but just share color combinations. And I thought this would be a nice time to share one for leaves. So lots of greens and yellows and browns and um, yeah, because we're going into autumn. All right, maybe not all over the world, but hopefully it'll um, help you in the next autumn season for those of you who are going into spring. All right, enough chat. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to use my Albert Jura pencils. I'm going to use them dry so that those of you who might be following along with polychromos um, or any other pencils and are using a conversion chart, you can follow along without worrying about the fact that I'm activating my pencils with water. So I'll use them dry. I will do a little swatch of the colour and the name of the colour that I'm, you know, the number of the colour I'm using on the chart. But in the description box below, I will list out the names as well in case that's easier for some people. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'll just go ahead with it. I'm going to put it to music and um, yeah, let's do this. I love autumn. Let's go for it.
Okay, guys, so that's all the color combinations I think I'm going to share with you guys. Now, while I was doing these, I realized that I could still come up with lots more color combinations. But hopefully this is a good start for you guys. Um, my advice would be that you can actually mix and match certain colors. So like we've done some greens here. You can mix any of these greens with certain ones of the other browns that we've done. Um, so and you can add little pink hints of pinks in some of the browns or the some of the pink the green leaves. Um, so there is actually endless options for autumn leaves that we can color but hopefully um this has given you a few ideas so we have some brighter greens we've got some more yellowy greens um we've got some browns we've got some yellow orange brighter orangey yellow browns we've got some duller ones like the one at the end that we did we've got a nice red one there so lots of different options and lots of options that we can basically just mix and match and come up with something. Um, so, yeah, I would just say, yeah, just have fun. Just go wild with your leaves and enjoy coloring them. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, I've done this very roughly, so don't worry if the blending is not the perf like perfect. You can always use a blender pencil to blend it out. You can spend a bit more time blending. Usually what I would do, for example, if I took um, one of the leaves here, I would like use maybe the first three colors that I've listed there. I would apply, I, I'd lay them down dry on the paper, then I'd activate it with water when I'm using my Arbrick Dura pencils. And then I'd go in and use some of the dark colors over the top. And that just helps with the blending process, which I didn't do on this page. But um, that's how I usually work with um, my layers when I'm using watercolor pencils. So that's why I've not spent too much time blending because it would take me forever. It already did actually. But if you're using watercolor pencils, you can use the first few colors that I've I've um, listed, blend them out with water, then go over with your other pencils over the top dry. Or you could use it as watercolor throughout. But um, that's how I would normally do to just help with the blending process um, to make not make it as hard work as I have. I know I've got so many colors there, but that's how I work with my colors. I love layering up, as you guys know, um, but it definitely helps having watercolor pencils. But when you're doing them dry, it does take a while. But we've got some simpler options with fewer colors. So those few greens there and you can mix them up with some of the browns and yellows and uh, make it simpler for you guys um, if you want to. All right, guys, I really enjoyed this and I'm so glad that I've done this because now it'll be easy for me to tackle my um, autumn pages and get going on all those leaves that we have. Um, in fact, I have, uh, which book have I got out? Um, where did it go? Oh, here it is. I had this book out because I was going to do the leaves in this book. And um, sorry, that's Boule de Poix by Diane Dufour. And I was going to do this page here. And there's lots of leaves and that's what um, made me think about doing this uh, how I color video so that I could get lots of other colors so that when I come to tackle the leaves at the bottom of the page now I'll just look at the, these two sheets and be able to do that um, so yeah hopefully it'll be helpful for you guys I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll be back with you guys again soon on another video so until then take care thank you for watching and sorry before I go if you want any of these swatch charts I'm not very tech savvy, so if you do want them, just email me and I will send them out to you guys. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how to put it out there for you guys, but if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But um, yeah, so if you do want them, just email me and I'll send it to you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Take care and bye-bye.